So in this video, I'm going to show you how to produce that Wes Anderson painterly look style of photography. And we're going to do this all in Lightroom in three easy to follow steps. So let's jump in and take a look. If you'd like to see the video on how I captured these images, click here in the corner and it will take you back to that video. There are a few elements that you need to keep in mind before you come to Lightroom. So this is one of the photos that I took while I was in Vita town in Spain, the outskirts in a little town called Salamanca. I really, really like this image for a number of reasons. It's quite simple. I really like that there's a single person in the frame. Um, also, it has those prime colors that we were speaking about. So it has blue and the red. So the first thing that I like to do, I like to crop my image by one by one, but that is totally up to you. This is just how I like to do it. You can crop it um, any way that you like. So I just come over here, click on my crop overlay tool, come back down to the aspect ratio and I select one by one and then I just frame it the way I like, double click and there you have it. And now we're ready to go. So the first step is to make it nice and flat. A low contrast image is what we want. And we do this by not touching the contrast slider at all. So I just like to come down here, highlight, I'm going to bring all the way down. On this image, I'm going minus 95. Shadows, I'm going to bring all the way up. And I'm going to do plus 90, or let's go, plus 89. And then I'm going down to the black slider and I'm going to bring the black all the way up. Check in your image as you go. Here we go. Plus 93, let's say, for this image. On your keyboard, just hit Y and already you can see the before and after and you can see we've got a nice flat image and it's a great place to start from. Hit Y again. We're going to go back to our edited image and the second step is to add some texture take away some clarity to give it more of a painted look. So we're just going to scroll down to present texture. I like to add a little bit of texture. I'm going to go around a plus 15, plus 14, let's say, and then I'm going down to the clarity slider and I'm going to bring the clarity down and we're going to go minus 16. Vibrance, I'm going to add a little bit of vibrance. I like that around the plus 14 for this image and I'm going to take away a bit of saturation. Minus 7. Back to the keyboard, hit Y, before and after and we've got a great image already. The blues are looking good, the reds are looking good, we've got some more texture in the concrete, it's really heading in the right direction. Okay, so now we're just going to scroll down to the tone curve, we're going to keep it on the master adjustment just going to grab the point of right hand corner we're just going to pull it in a little bit like so and we're going to grab the point at the bottom and we're just going to pull that up a little bit and that's going to just help flatten the image and bring it up in a bit of exposure and brightness as well now we're just going to head down to the feature cell color section of Lightroom and this is where you can really bring out the colors in the images so first I like to start off with saturation red i'm going to bring the red up plus 50 oranges i'm going to bring the oranges up plus 45 yellows i'm going to bring the yellows up plus 38 aqua i'm going to bring the aquas up plus 27 blue i'm going to bring the blue up to plus 17 then i'm going to click on the luminous tab blue i'm going to bring the blue up 32 Red, I'm going to bring the red up, plus 17. Oranges, I'm going to bring the oranges up, plus 25. Now I'm going to hit Y on the keyboard again. And we've got a fantastic image. It's really, really getting to that final spot where we like it. Hit Y on your keyboard again, the final step. Now I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom in Lightroom, and we're going to go to Camera Calibration. And under the red primary, I'm going to grab the Q slider and I'm going to pull the red slightly over to the oranges plus 23 and then I'm going to go down to the blue primary and I'm going to be doing the same 
with the hue slider in the blue and I'm going to be pulling it towards the left. So this is going to add a bit more teal. So we're going to get more of an orange sort of teal look to this image. So I'm going to go minus 32 on this image. Now I'm going to go all the way back to the top of Lightroom and I'm going to adjust my temperature. So I like to adjust it and add a little bit of orange to the image, but you might like it with a little bit of a cooler feel. So I like to make this a little bit orangey, a little bit of a warmer sort of feel. So I'm going to pull my temperature to 5,600. Um, and then I'm going to leave the tint where it is. And then finally, I'm going to come down to the exposure. Do I need to add a little bit of exposure? No, I don't. I'm going to leave the exposure exactly where it is. And there you have it. I have a Wes Anderson painterly style of photo in no time at all. So hit Y on your keyboard and you'll see a before and after. And you can see a huge difference. I think that looks fantastic. I do have my painterly seven Lightroom presets available. There will be a link in the description below. If you haven't already, make sure you join the Facebook group where you can post your images, get feedback, connect with like-minded photographers, and also hear about upcoming workshops. Until the next time, get out there and take those photos.